hi guys thank you for tuning in so I'm sorry my video is a little late this week I had so many issues with recording and trying to upload it um, so I'm so sorry but I'm here ready to convey my message for this week to you first of all I hope everyone is doing well and I hope that you are having a peaceful week and you've been able to find ways to be more mindful and to just focus on what's positive in your life. So today I want to talk to you about critics. And right away when we think about the word critics, I'm sure many of us are thinking, oh, everyone is a critic, right? But we also forget that sometimes our worst critics are ourselves. We're so critical of who we are, what we are, what we do, trying to fulfill to, you know, someone else's expectations or images that we see on TV or movies or magazines. We sometimes feel like that's what we should look like or act like, or maybe those are the possessions that we should be holding. But the reality is that no one is perfect. And although some people think they are, um, we know that no one is. But yet, we are still hard on ourselves, right? And sometimes we become our own worst critic because of how others have made us feel. Maybe in our upbringing, uh, sometime in our past, in a relationship, or um, even maybe something that we saw or we watched, that we witnessed, that made us feel like, okay, maybe this is how I should be now. But we can change that, just like we've talked about in prior videos on how you can rewire your brain. Same concept. You have choices. You can either stay stuck and say, okay, it is what it is, and I'm going to always critique myself, or you're going to make a decision as to how you want to change that. So one of the things that I suggest is identify what are those things that you usually criticize yourself about. Sometimes we're not even sure because it's become such a habit that it's now the norm for us. So I want you to take several minutes to really zone in, be mindful, even meditate. Allow your mind to really zone in those things that you feel self-conscious about. And sometimes that's a very difficult thing to do because it almost means like you're going to a wound and you're kind of picking at it and it could be painful. But just remember what the reward is going to be at the end. And so once you identify what are those things you're always critiquing yourself about, I want you to send it love. Send it love, send it positive energy, Send it white light if you want, you know, like those beautiful rays that come off the sun. Most importantly, just send it a lot of love. And then think about what are ways that you can feel better about those things. Maybe it's specific things that you really can't change because it's specific scars. But think about how you can make yourself feel better about it. So let's say maybe it's your stomach. You don't like the way your stomach looks. Think of an exercise program that is realistic or a diet that is realistic. Take small steps. And that might mean that you're not going to lose whatever it is around your stomach that you have immediately, but taking those small steps is gonna help you get on board with you feeling better about that area. So maybe it's not something physical and apparent that you can see, maybe it's internal. So take a moment to think about what it could have been. Was it a person that critiqued you? Was it something that happened, a trauma in your life? And now think about how you can really get to the core of breaking it apart and finding forgiveness and healing in it. And that may mean having to forgive the person who made you feel that way. Doesn't mean you have to personally tell them that, but just sending that person love and sending yourself love and forgiveness as well. Because remember, we're our worst critic. 
you don't have to tell that person that you're okay with what they did. But you do need to tell yourself that it's time to let go of it. To shred it into pieces and burn it away. Because that's living inside of you. And it's affecting who you are as an individual. And perhaps it's not letting you move on and heal. I know this sounds maybe a little bizarre. Like, Martha, how am I going to do this? This is like, it's going to be a challenge. Most things that are challenges are rewarding at the end, right? It's just taking a moment to believe in yourself and take that leap of faith. And allow yourself to want to forgive. Allow yourself to want to change. To want to love yourself more. To want to accept who you are and build your self-esteem. No one is worth taking away who you are, your power, your positive energy. No one. So you need to take yourself back and empower yourself. I know you have the tools to do this. And I believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. I bet you always tell people all these amazing things about how great they are. Now it's time to do that for yourself and pat yourself on the back. And those critics who are out there, aka haters, they will always be there because they're miserable. They have their own luggage that they don't want to unpack. And you're like their drug. They feed off of you. They enjoy seeing you miserable and struggle. So you need to take yourself back and say, I'm better than that. I'm not worth what they have to say. They want to continue saying negative things about me. They're not worth it. I'm worth much more than that. You have to empower yourself. Don't feed into those individuals. <coughs> Sorry. So I don't want my video to be super long because I know your time is precious. And I apologize that this video is not as great as my others, but my daughter is not videotaping me. I had to do it a different way so I'd be able to get my video out to you this week. But just please remember, guys, you are amazing just the way you are. Don't allow anyone to define who you are ever ever those haters they're the way they are because they have their own issues and next time they say something negative to you be ready you know who they are they're repeated offenders you know they're going to say something negative at one point or another so be ready with your ammunition be ready to fight that fight in a professional peaceful and calm way and by putting them in their place and not letting them tread all over you They'll learn their lesson and they'll eventually leave you alone. Critics will always be critics. That's who they are. But most importantly, you need to change being a negative critic about yourself and start being a positive critic about yourself. Every day say something amazing about yourself. Remind yourself how beautiful you are, how great your eyes look, how wonderful your body looks in a certain outfit. You are worth it. And you need to remember that, that you are incredible just the way you are. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love all you guys. And it really means the world to me that you take time to listen to me. Remember, you don't have to just watch my video. You can listen to me on your speakers in your car or headphones. I know some of you do that already on your drive in to work. And don't forget to share my news with others. Maybe there's a friend out there or a family member who needs to hear this message today. Share it with them. What a great gift to give them. Big hugs and kisses to everyone. I appreciate every one of you. And I look forward to my next, next topic next week. It will be a surprise. And please remember, my videos are what you see is what you get. I don't wear makeup. I don't have all this you know, extravagant lighting and things like that. It's as raw as it can be because Mindful Martha is tries to be as truthful as I can be and as authentic as I can be, which I hope you are to yourself and others. Big hug and kisses, heart kisses to our all. And thank you again for tuning in. Adios, gracias, bye guys.